Nation. Samantha Beaumont, Global Union Supervisor of the Lunar Licensing Program. We have a lot to discuss. But first, I'd like to introduce you to your artificial data amalgamating messenger. Thank you for participating in the Lunar Licensing Program. The program stipulates that your corporation set up operative spaceports to act as bases for a new wave of lunar colonization. You will further assist Global Union in the development of a fusion energy reactor to avert Earth's impending energy crisis. Officially, only mega corporations are allowed in the program, but I personally took a stand for you. You just have to sign in with your corporation name. Thanks, but I need to see your corporate logo as well for identification purposes. My superiors at the Global Union had reservations about you, but I've convinced them. They even decided to allocate you high-grade territory for new corporate headquarters. Choose a sector. Almost there. We just have to negotiate the terms of your contract with Global Union, funding conditions, and the like. You are now entering Phase 1 of the Lunar Licensing Program. The Global Union assigned you territory in Earth's temperate region to establish a spaceport and a base of operations. The construction of a space elevator to Global Union headquarters is also required. For further instructions, speak to your official contact person. Global Union wishes you success. A true island paradise, don't you think? The coastal area here is very rich in natural resources. I wonder if that's the reason why a member of the Big Five is planning for an underwater research project. But for now, that's secondary. The protocol demands that you establish a spaceport in this area. The spaceport building site off the coast is still unstaffed. But as soon as you've built the necessary housing, the construction team will be moving in. I know it's a lot of things to keep in mind, but Adam compiled you a database where you can access all the information you need. Someone call for some workers. New blueprints ready for implementation. Underway. Copy that. Great. 
building material shortages shouldn't be an issue anymore. Sorry about that. I can't lose this job now. Facilities require additional I'm manpower. So we still got tickets. All these public holidays are pretty great. I hope this helps you. Your industry suffers from a shortage of workforce. This impairs productivity. Energy scarcity. Organic food is perceived as needless luxury by many megacorps. Good to see you share the union's perspective. That's a good one. We can use it. Your construction crew is one of the first ready. Keep up the pace. Your competitors will try to catch up. For the next construction stage, you'll need qualified ground staff to operate the spaceport. Make sure to adhere um, to union standards while providing the required spell. infrastructure. Attention. Oh, Under provision well, of specific case. consumer goods detected. Your facilities are consuming more energy than you are providing. This say? reduces their productivity. Standardize the process. That's gonna be delicious. Desalination plant. 
These days, it's the only way to come by drinkable water. All these public holidays are pretty great. Also, now you've dropped it. Warning. Energy demand too high. Countermeasures recommended. That's the one we can use it. Very good. We should standardize the process. Construction options expanded. range of information services. This will enable your employees to develop their interests as well as their skills. Time to reward myself with some take out. Remarkable progress. You've assembled construction crews and ground personnel faster than I was expecting. You are more than ready for the first major hurdle. The program demands you connect your city with the Global Union Space We've Station a via a space elevator. So far, only megacorps like the Big Five use such technology. But I'm sure you have the same potential. Not bad here, for the most part. 